the Sheikh Jarrah property dispute or the expulsion of Palestinians from Sheikh Jarrah as a long-running legal and political dispute between Palestinian refugees and Israeli Jews over the ownership of certain properties and housing units in Sheikh Jarrah, East Jerusalem, has been called a microcosm of the Israeli-Palestinian disputes over land since 1948. Israel's laws allow Jews to file claims over property in the East Jerusalem which they owned prior to 1948, but reject Palestinian claims over property in Israel proper which they owned. In this specific case, the Palestinian residents of Sheikh Jarrah are refugees who have no right under Israeli law to repossess their pre-1948 homes in Haifa, Sarafond and Jaffa. Israeli settlers and the Israeli government have framed the issue as a property dispute, while Palestinians have called the attempted evictions ethnic cleansing. According to the Middle East I, the dispute is considered part of the Israeli government's Holy Basin Settlement Strategy. Arye King, a deputy mayor of Jerusalem and one of the founders of the Ma'ale HaZitim Settler Compound, told the New York Times that the evictions were, of course, part of a municipal strategy to create layers of Jews throughout East Jerusalem. Many Palestinian families in East Jerusalem have been affected by forced relocation processes or been involved in lengthy legal procedures to revoke an eviction order. The property in Sheikh Jarrah in dispute includes the adjacent Shimon HaZadik and Nahalit Shimon compounds. The Palestinian view is that given Sheikh Jarrah's location beyond the Green Line or Israel proper, Israeli courts have no jurisdiction over land disputes in what is occupied territory according to international law, and that the displacement of people in occupied territory is considered a war crime under the Rome statute. The United Nations Human Rights Office has said that as Sheikh Jarrah is in East Jerusalem, which is considered occupied territory, that international humanitarian law prohibits the confiscation of private property and that evictions of the Palestinian families could constitute a war crime. An Israeli settler association claims the property was purchased from Arab landowners in 1875 or 1876 by the Jewish community in Ottoman Palestine. According to Ottoman documents produced by the Settler Association, Ottoman land registry records showed the property was registered in the names of Rabbis Avraham, Ashkenazi, Hakam Bashi or Chief Rabbi of Palestine and Mayor Auerbach. An Israeli court has stated that the document of Jewish ownership was authentic. Some Palestinians have disputed Jewish ownership of the land and have produced Ottoman-era land titles for part of the land. Housing construction in Nahalit Shimon commenced in 1891 to house poor Yemenite and Sephardi Jews. The land was adjacent to what some believed was the site of the tomb of Shimon HaZadik, a high priest of the 3rd century BCE, although according to scholarly consensus, based on an in situ inscription, it is the 2nd century CE burial site of a Roman matron named Julia Sabina. In 1947, there were about 100 Jewish houses in the neighborhood. In March 1948, given their exposed and isolated position in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, the British authorities ordered the residents to evacuate within two hours. East Jerusalem came under Jordanian rule following the 1948 war. The Jordanians expelled all Jews from East Jerusalem and the Jordanian custodian of enemy property was established in 1948 to handle property taken from Jews that had fled or been expelled from the territories then under Jordanian control, including the property in question. The evacuated Jewish residents were resettled in Palestinian homes in West Jerusalem. In 1956, the Jordanian government agreed with the United Nations Palestinian Relief Agency UNRWA to house 28 Palestinian refugee families in Sheikh Jarrah who were required to pay rent to the custodian. These Palestinians' families had previously lived in Haifa and Jaffa but had been displaced in 1948. In 1948, approximately 750,000 Palestinians were displaced from their homes, and about 400 Palestinian towns and villages were depopulated, in areas which fell under Israeli control. In West Jerusalem the overwhelming mass of the wealthy Palestinian community some 28,000, of which only roughly 750 were permitted to remain, fled or was expelled and their property was ransacked, subsequently confiscated and distributed to Jews.
At the same time, a few hundred Jews evacuated from about a dozen locations in East Jerusalem and the West Bank were given properties in West Jerusalem that had been owned by Palestinians. 10,000 mostly fully furnished Palestinian homes in the western sector of Jerusalem alone were occupied and their original owners and Palestinians with property in other parts of mandatory Palestine and what later became Israel are denied the right to reclaim their property. In 1970, on the Oth, 